Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Gulesha and welcome you to this channel. Uh, today I want to speak about one discourse uh, which is linked discourses 3.25. I have given the link in the description that speaks about Buddha's advice to a king on death and why we should act with urgency and what we need to do. So there was a king who said that, you know, he serves a lot of kings, other kings, higher kings and who are infatuated with authority and they are into greed and sensual pleasures and everything. So Buddha told him that imagine that there is a mountain and someone comes to you and say that there is a mountain which is very very tall mountain. It is like even surpasses the clouds and it is coming to you fast and it is crushing all the creatures uh, uh, as it is coming to you. Then there is another person that comes to you from and who again says the same thing another mountain from another side and all the four sounds there are uh, mountains that are coming and they are you know coming with such rapid pace and they all they are crushing all the creatures uh, on its way so in that case buddha says should such a dire threat arise a terrible loss to him because there is no other way from all the four directions these four mountains are coming and you will be crushed to death so buddha asked this question to king Basanadi: is that in such a case of a dire threat where human a terrible loss of human life when the human birth is so rare, so in a given situation where you know that this human life that you've got is so rare and, and, and you are faced with the prospect of losing your life, what will you do? Right? There is no other place to think or act. Immediately, immediately what you will do? So King Pasanaji said, Sir, what could I do but practice the teachings, practice morality, doing skillful and good actions. So Buddha said, I tell you, great king, I announce to you, old age and death are advancing upon you. Right? Since old age and death are advancing, what would you do? So again, he said the same thing. So then, then basically he said that if they, I could have done many other things, that, you know, that there is so much wealth, I could have given the wealth, we, we could have fi found a wise solution through a wise counsel. But all these diplomatic, or we have such so much gold coin and bullion that is stored in dungeons and towers, we can bribe the approaching enemy. But the king understood that if, when old age and death is advancing, all this is of no use. So Buddha said about, uh, there is a passage where Buddha says, Suppose there were vast mountains of solid rock touching the sky, drawing in from all the sides and crushing the four quarters. So too the old age and death advance upon all living creatures. Arist all living creatures, no one is spared. Aristocrats, Brahmins, peasants, millennials, outcasts and scavengers. They spare nothing. They crush all beneath them. There is nowhere for elephants, elephants to take a stand, nor chariots, nor infantry. They cannot be defeated by diplomatic battles or by wealth. That's why an astute person, seeing what's good for themselves, being wise, would place faith in the Buddha, the teaching and the Sangha, the triple gem. Buddha is referring to the triple gem. Whoever lives by the teaching in body, speech and mind is praised in this life and departs to rejoice in heaven. Right? So, basically here Buddha says that when death is fast approaching and we know, we all are moving towards death. So, all these mountains, they are not imaginary things. This is actually the death that is approaching us. Right from the day that we are born, death is approaching us. So, we get born... So I'm just sharing my reflections here is that we get born in a life which is very very rare the human life is so so rare this is the only life where we can listen to the dharma practice the dharma and achieve full liberation in this life if by old age and death this life is wasted so that's like we have we have, we have wasted our life so Till we are not aware, till we do not come in the teachings of the Buddha, we are like involved in a lot of material things and everything. So once we realize that the importance of this life and the, the danger of this approaching old age and death, because see, as we go, grow old, today we can practice the Dharma, we can do the meditation. But if we go, grow old, we might not, or if we have some illness, we will not be able to practice the Dharma even if we want to. And God forbid, if due to our conduct, we reach into realms, uh, naked, uh, lower realms, there 
there is so much suffering that even if we want to practice the dharma we cannot so friends the important thing is not to waste this time that we have just take one day at a time and practice the dharma right no no important thing is that we are not saying buddha never said that leave your family life and everything so being in that family life we need to practice so buddha's teaching is all about not that you need to set aside a dedicated time yes a formal meditation uh, a time you can set aside it will help you in your practice but the buddha's teaching is totally in the day to day conduct the following the five precepts no no killing no lying no stealing no sexual misconduct no alcohol this for following the five precepts we don't need to look anything outside and the most fundamental precept is mindfulness being mindful in our day to day actions our thoughts bringing mindfulness to our thoughts our words our actions so all that we need to do now see what happens is our tendency is that we tend to delay 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 things and we say that okay one day i will practice the dharma and maybe that day doesn't come maybe you forget all about it or maybe you are in a position where you want to but due to some reason you cannot practice so right now whatever stage you are in in your life see conditions will never be ideal but we have to start somewhere and if we take one step there are higher dhamma forces the buddhas and bodhisattvas are helping us so they will take 10 steps for helping us practice the path so so for example i read this sutra right this sutra i read i analyzed and i shared so one by one if i do the sutras maybe in a few years i can cover the entire all the discourses maybe not all but the major ones right so so that's that's basically the point that we need to be you know realize the urgency of this thing that you know death is fast approaching and we need to do our practice keep contemplating death i have just made it as a reflection from this discourses we need to go back to the five remembrances buddha's five remembrances uh, i have made a, a detailed video on that so buddha said that death i am of the nature to grow old and die i cannot escape death we cannot escape no one can escape death so right from the day we are born we are you know we get into that false sense of permanent self that this is me and this is me who will be there but realize that everything is changing and we are all moving towards death to see so when we contemplate death we realize that what is really really important and what is temporary so all that you know wealth family relationships all is there because we have to be there enjoy there that but don't get attached because it is all impermanent what will go with us is our karma is our deeds so and our mind and in this life what we have to do is that through the practice of meditation i have made this video on insight meditation you can check more and more meditate purify your mind purify your mind through meditation through the conduct through the right speech all that we need to do daily routine right what we have to focus is on making a daily routine unless and until you have a routine you will be just keeping thinking about this and that and you will not follow so maybe you can make a daily routine that 10 minutes per day morning 10 minutes per day evening i will start with my meditation then i will read one buddha's precept now with the use of technology there is so it's become so easy for you to do your study i made a separate video on beginner's guide on buddha's teachings how to read the buddha's sutras buddha's buddhist sutras so i am just sharing my personal experience what has happened to me is that and i have also started you know very recently only uh, devoting myself to the buddhist sutras so when i am reading the buddhist sutras what basically i am it's like you it's like said about books that when you read read books it's like conversing with the finest men so when i am reading buddha's teachings i am actually in a way i am conversing directly with the buddha i am like it's like i when i read i feel that buddha is speaking to me and what change it has brought in me is that i feel a sense of purification when i read buddha's discourses somewhere lot of my cravings and all have started to diminish from the time i started reading the discourses and i am sharing these discourses with you right so make a routine whatever you can do it is meditation then uh, some 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 seva some practice some uh, feeding 
animals or birds, whatever you can do, following the five precepts, all that has to be part of our daily routine. And the last thing that I have already said and reflection, we can do journaling every day, some bit of journaling as to how my day went. Did I follow the Buddha's Noble Eightfold Path? Where was the mistake? What I can improve upon? That kind of a reflection we need to do. Because, see friends, if we don't do all these things, then we are no better than insects. They also get born and they also die. We are humans. We have the potential to liberate us, ourselves. And we have achieved this human life that we have achieved is after several, several, several precious positive karmas that we have done in previous lives. That's why we have achieved this human life. So, the underlying thing is, to keep it, just make it short, is that understand that death is fast approaching. We are so fortunate that we are today in Buddha's teaching. Maybe if you are watching this video till now, like you, me, we are all so fortunate that we are in Buddha's teaching. So we have to bring that urgency in our uh, work. Not do just the spiritual work just for be doing that. Be conscious that our one focus is liberation. One focus is liberation. We might liberate in this lifetime, we might not. But we have to go towards that direction. That has to be our goal. Getting free from suffering, getting free from this cycle of birth and death. Till the time we are unconscious, we are not clear about our goals. We are just, you know, it's like a boat that is just without any guidance. It's just uh, uh, drifting. And what happens to a drifting boat? It lands up nowhere. But we have to be conscious about our overall goal and just move every day. Make, take, take, take small, small steps. Read the Buddha's teaching. Meditate, develop our mind, bring it into practice. Right? So, this is it. It's a short uh, 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 video where I wanted to share this particular discourse. I hope it is helpful. Do share your thoughts, reflections on this. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Namo Buddha, Namo Buddha.